so many times that I miss you. It is Sunday and I just came back from church. Um something funny actually happened in church today. So um I yesterday although i know that video must have gone up by now but then yesterday i went with my friend i stayed in i stayed over at the hospital with my friend so i wasn't able to get enough rest i sat on the chair with her she was on the bed and i was on the chair so i slept on the chair so because of that i had I currently have swollen foot. This is something that is very, very new to me. I haven't experienced this in a very long time. So here is how my my ankle is looking. See this one? This one is a little bit down, but this one is still very fat. You can see from this place, from this place like this, you can see that it is abnormal. My ankle is kind of weak like my ankle was swollen and i'm wondering why i know i didn't sleep well i was just trying to just be comfortable so i think that was have caused the leg to swell and i went to church today i wore this dress and i ate i ate rice and beans today before going to church i and my husband actually ate before going to church on a normal day i don't eat before going to church i just go to church when i come back i eat but today we decided to just eat because i was feeling so tired from the night shift i did yesterday so when i went to church and because of that actually my tummy was protruding let me see if there's light so because of that my tummy was protruding in this my clothes and it was i don't know it was giving pregnancy vibe so when i went to church this man looked at me very well and she called me and she was like how are you i said i'm fine how are you doing okay i didn't go to church last week sunday so she was just like don't worry it's part of the things and you'll be fine i know this beginning stage is very difficult but then it is going to be all right even me when i was going through this phase i didn't even know it was going to be like this i had to go back and start begging my mom for forgiveness because her i just knew that this was not going to be it took me time for me to actually understand what she was trying to say and at long last I now understood that she was trying to tell me to calm down that the first trimester <laughs> that the first trimester of pregnancy is always very difficult but that i'm going to be fine i'm going to be okay and i looked at her, i was busy telling her okay thank you man thank you man when it dawned on me that oh she was actually referring to me being pregnant i was not like ma i am not pregnant too she now said hey you're not pregnant i said yes she now said okay and hey, in future i said yes in future thank you ma <laughs> That was how I was able to just go. Now, I just took my mind to... I just... I, I, I shot took it like she was trying to be considerate. She was just trying to be supportive. She was trying to just cheer me up. Mm -hmm. But then, it is not good for people to actually poke nose into other people's business. Because, let's take the instance of... Had it been I was... Um, had it been I was someone that was looking for a child maybe i've been looking for a child i've been i've been trying and trying and trying and then somebody calls me like that to come and start giving me this kind of advice it's not to just start crying for the woman and be like <laughs> it's not coming that would have just been the case because i would have broken down i would have felt so emotional knowing that that is what i want and that is not happening People should learn, learn to control their self, learn to control what you are saying. You're not even sure, except if you are sure, except if the person, it is obvious that this person is pregnant. For us, that on a normal day, we have big tummy, especially where we eat. And then that thing that was what gave, her, gave it away, that was what made her feel like, ah, she's pregnant. I was, I, my tummy was big, I had food, and then this leg again was there so maybe she saw it and she was like ah this my small auntie is pregnant and she decided well i didn't see it as anything i saw it as just normal word of advice but for someone that must have been trying to conceive and then somebody's telling her that kind of thing oh it's not nice well today is sunday i just came back from church and 
i'm here i want to make okra soup i i want to eat okra soup i've been craving i don't know that's my favorite soup i know people must have been tired of me cooking okra soup every time but that's like one of my major soups if i want to cook 10 soups every week or if i if i have to cook one soup every week or if i have to eat one soup for the rest of my life it has to be okra so there's no day there's no week that i want to make soup soups that i don't make okra but since i'm going to make an okra i just want to quickly do it i bought i'm talking so much let me just go and make it because i have to sleep i'm going back to the hospital today because i have to stay over again ah it's a lot but then see you guys in the kitchen i'm going to change up and Times I didn't miss you. I know how to call when I want to. Now you got way bigger issues. You're running around like you're single. Slow down, only you the ginger the whole town. Slow it sometimes. Go out, mountain for your back, make it run wild. Slow it sometimes. Time to slow down. So many things we could have been You left me so cold You know that I need you Now I feel so cold I gotta get even Still I want you close Sometimes I need you I never forget you But I won't call you anyway Nobody wins Cause you won't call me anyway I won't call you Anyway, nobody wins cause you won't call me anyway I can be so bad at giving you guys updates but then I made my hair yesterday I just decided to make this hair just so I look like someone and um, today is a good day I have a lot of things I want to do today we are going to our new house to keep some things in order I'm going to be carrying you guys along so hope you guys don't get tired sure mm -hmm. So guys, today is the day, today we are going to be doing, we are actually doing the painting for the house and I want to do a little transformation here in the kitchen. So I got this wallpaper, I'm going to be spreading it just 
on the wall here from this part to this part and then I think the upper part we are going to paint it I don't know yet let's just see but I got this one this wasn't actually what I was looking for but they didn't, since they didn't have what I was looking for I decided to just go with this one So at this point, I was really thinking I'll be able to do it on my own. I was thinking, okay, woman power, I can do all things. I don't need a man. <laughs> I don't need an assistant. That was really what I was thinking. Because prior to now, I'd watched so many DIYs. I've watched many videos on people that have done this on their own. So even when my husband came in and decided to help me, I was like, don't worry, I've got this. Just be in the parlor with the guy and make sure he's doing what he's supposed to be doing well. So I had evaluated the whole place and I've seen that, okay, the sticker is going to go well on the wall. And this is not like a wallpaper wallpaper. This is more like a sticker because it has an inner back that you have to peel out and then you just have to apply it on the wall. But after so much explanation... Do you think I'll be needing a scissors or a reason? So I needed a scissors to actually cut out the part I'll be needing first. So when I got the scissors and cut out the part, I had to call my husband to come and help me because I just discovered that this is not something I can do alone. I would have been able to do it. Eh? I would have been able to do it alone if I had four hands, but since I had two hands, it was just so impossible. So we started off by peeling off the peel, that's the back part of the sticker, and then I was trying to place it on the wall. I tried it severally, but it was not working out. <laughs> there was nothing we didn't do. So I would advise that if you must be needing this sticker, or if you are doing anything with this sticker, be sure that you have an assistant. You can do it alone. Yes, it is very possible. But the fact that you need somebody that is going to hold the other end just so this other part that you are doing is not going to go off the wall is something you should actually consider getting an extra and other than yourself. But aside that, this is something one person can do alone. And of course, at first, it was difficult for us to navigate how we should do it. But as time went on, we started getting used to the whole process. I discovered that just pressing it on the wall, like the way I'm doing now, using my hand to press the sticker on the wall is not just enough. You need something that is flat, a flat surface kind of thing that is going to help press it on the wall. So when I discovered that, I used my um, ATM card. You can see that it was just peeling off. I was trying it severally. If I put it, it will remove. If I put it, it will remove. At a point, my husband was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you don't try. Come out, let me try my own. So, Because me, I was, I didn't want him to do it actually. I wanted it to be me because I was the one that have watched all the videos. So I was just thinking that I was going to be able to do it. But when I tried it severally and it didn't work, he too was tired. He was like, oh yeah, come out. It's okay. So when it was his turn, he took it, he used his hand to staple it, just the same way I did though. 
I don't know what he did differently. Okay, maybe the thing he did differently is using muscle. But then that was when I used my ATM card and I filed it. And when I did it, ah, I was very happy because the thing just stuck on the wall. And that was where we knew that, oh, we have started getting it. So as I said earlier, this is not the kind of wallpaper we wanted or the kind of sticker we wanted for this wall. I wanted those ones that were brick-like, but we didn't find that one in the market. We walked and walked and walked. There was no way we didn't enter. We couldn't find that one. So this was the one we saw, and we just had to get this one. Although this one is not something I like, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just manage this for now. So we just used the ATM to just swipe on the surface of the sticker. And if you are doing this, you must make sure that you are very careful because once here on this sticker, it's just going to ruin the whole thing that you have been doing. So that was pretty much what we did and we proceeded to doing the other parts. We are so happy because at a point we are like, I was like, let's just leave this thing. I think we're we'll going to get a top bond glue so that we can just glue this thing on the wall and rest. But after so much persistence, so much hard work, so much not giving up, we are able to achieve our results. And it was just so nice because at the end of the day, we still won. I still won because even at the point, my husband was like, you see, you would have just gotten somebody to come and do this thing. <laughs> and that was pretty much how it went. So after much hustling and toiling and sweating, we are able to get it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more updates on our house.